Hi guys, Nathan here from JS Power Sports. Today I'm going to walk you through testing a starter solenoid. This is what they look like. It is a tiny little coil down inside here and it has a little lever inside that basically when you energize the coil, it goes up and smacks the post in the bottom so that both of these make a contact. Now a lot of times if your battery comes around to this terminal, there will be another red terminal coming off of this that goes up to your electrical box or whatever, and that's okay. Just keep that the same way, don't mix them up. Otherwise you won't have power to the electrical box until you're only hitting the starter button, which would be incorrect. Now, um, this is the actual coil, or the actual solenoid that's used in the crash jet skis, and in order to test it I'm going to use a multimeter and there's different buttons and selectors and little numbers and symbols and whatever and if you don't know how to use one get a friend have them help you out this is dc current this is ac you can't test on ac we mean dc 20 volt circuit first thing we're going to do is test the battery i've got an alligator clip already zipped on here and a paper clip which is sometimes handy first thing we're looking for is we want to see we got 12 volts here in our battery Boom, we have a really good battery here because normally it's 12.6 or something like that. This is lithium ion, this is cool stuff. All right, now I'm gonna clip onto ground here, which is all over this thing. And I'm also gonna test it on my battery again. Yes, we definitely have a connection there. Now I can get my terminals a little closer to where I need to. Now don't bump this off or you're gonna have to perform all your tests again. The starter solenoid is hidden clear down inside here. Do you see it? It's these two red pieces, uh, covers on the, you know, rubber covers over the terminal. So there we go. There's the one that goes to the starter. This is the one that goes to the battery. So when I touch this onto the battery, and this is gonna be hard for you to see while I'm doing it, here we are. We have voltage here. My 12.85 volts. Now, when it's touched onto the starter terminal, we're gonna have nothing right now until I hit the starter button. Pause. Showing them back here. Okay, I've got my lead on the starter side of the solenoid. This is my meter here. I'm gonna reach up. I got the power button on here. I'm gonna hit the starter button and you're gonna see voltage go through this thing. There. We're over 10 and a half volts, that's good. If you fall below 10 and a half volts, that's bad. You probably need a new battery. Um, that And because voltage went through the solenoid, we know the solenoid is working. Also, the starter obviously turned over, which told you that it's working as well. Now, the jet ski didn't start up. That doesn't necessarily mean I have a bad starter solenoid or a bad starter. It means it's not getting fuel or spark because it's actually turning the engine over. I know this may sound elementary, but you wouldn't believe how many people will blame a starter because their ski didn't start, even though it's still turning over. So that's why I cover that stuff. Um, so this one's good. If it was bad, it would probably read zero voltage or very low voltage. Another thing that can happen is the terminals can melt together inside starter solenoids, causing it to keep the battery uh, or the starter energized from the battery. And the only way to, to stop that would be to come over here really quick and disconnect your negative terminal and then replace the starter solenoid. Um, starter solenoids can actually be bench tested. Uh, that's kind of a different procedure and you have to have little bitty alligator clips and so on to go inside those terminals to energize them with the battery to test it. But a mechanic shop can usually bench test one. If you, um, for accessories, uh, check out our website, jspowersports.com. Go to the electronics section after you press on the orange watercraft button. And uh, everything you need is right there. Um, please support us, jspowersports.com. Thank you.